Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to our webinar today. Uh, my name is Stephanie, and I will be hosting our webinar where we're going to be talking about um, the end of the school year sales and the type of um, orders that you can get and the type of designs that you can do uh, with school classes, um, seniors and middle school and uh, elementary school and some different events that are going to be going on at the end of the school year and hopefully give you some ideas as to um, some of the different events that are going on so that you're able to um, you know contact the school and get some some more orders so um, whether you're just starting getting um, started decorating for schools or you're looking to start providing the schools with apparel um, you know these are some great ideas to present to them um, and we'll hopefully um, you know get you some inspiration to get started so First things first, um, there is a chat section of the webinar. And if you can hear me, um, go ahead and type in the chat and just say that the audio is working okay and that um, you know, you're able to hear me very clearly. Because on my end, I don't see um, you know, that, that you guys can hear me. So perfect. So um, looks like the microphone is working fine. Thank you very much. Okay, perfect. Thank you guys. Um, so we're going to start talking about eight ideas for the school year. Um, feel free to ask questions in this chat. Um, if you have done work with the schools, um, we encourage you to share your knowledge with anybody. I know that there's probably some new people that um, haven't worked with the schools as well as people that have been working with schools for years. Um, so we would love for you guys to share your knowledge um, of these type of events and um, you know, pass your knowledge along. Uh, we also have, if you do have any questions, we also have Sue who is behind the scenes and she's going to be answering any questions that you have um, about products from Transfer Express, about any of the topics that we're talking about here today. So if you do have questions, feel free to ask. Um, also, the webinar is being recorded. So uh, the webinar will be available to watch um, in a few days from now, uh, probably by Monday it will be available to rewatch on our website. And then the PDF slides as well will be available. And I will get our slides started here in a second. You just bear with me. So as I'm trying to pull these slides up for you, um, if we can get a tally and see how many people, if you have worked, if you've been working with schools for a while and have been doing some end of the school year t-shirt sales, um, let us know and let us know how long you've been working with schools. And um, let's see.
Okay, okay let's, let's try, try this again. Um, let's see. Can, can, can you hear, hear me now? now? Okay, okay, let me, let me see, see if I can, I can fix, fix the audio. audio. All right, does, All right, does that, that help? help? Can you can still, you still hear, hear an echo? echo? Good, good. Okay, okay, perfect. perfect. All right, All right sorry, about sorry about that, guys. That, guys. <laughs> Technical, Technical difficulties. difficulties. There's, There's still, still an, echo? an echo? Yeah, still, yeah, an, still echo. an echo. Okay, okay. Uh, give, me give me one, one minute. minute. I'll see, I'll if, see I if I can fix that for you. For you. Sorry about, sorry this, about guys. this, guys. Okay, let's see if this works. Heather, can you let me know if there's still an audio or still a an echo? Okay, perfect. All right. Looks like we're back up and running. Thank you guys for your help and your understanding. Um, we have, I just got done with that last, that first slide. Um, introducing you guys to the webinar. So we can go ahead and move forward and talk about um, some of the ideas that we keep actually seeing a lot of these designs and a lot of these events coming through our print production line, um, you know, being screen printed and creating transfers out of them. So we wanted to put these all together for you um, so that you guys can also um, present these ideas to your school. So the first um, main event, and a lot of you guys know, because I'm sure a lot of you participated in this event um, during the school year when you were young, was Field Day. Now, Field Day is one of the funnest events, um, and it's typically done uh, in elementary schools. Um, but I, we also did it in junior high. Um, some high schools will even do it a little differently than they do in elementary school. But um, still, the concept is you know, getting the kids and the classes outside, having a break from school, letting them have some fun and doing some outdoor athletic contests. Um, so field day is a lot of fun. And what happens is um, parents will put on this event and it's usually organized a few months ahead of time. And each grade, um, you know, the competition is, either your grade is competing against each other or grades compete against the different grades. So um, this is a huge t-shirt sales um, idea for you. And field day is each grade, they'll wear a different color t-shirt. Um, typically some of the grades have their own designs on their shirts um, and they'll wear different colors. And so what happens is you're able to tell the kids apart by the different grades, depending on what color shirt they're wearing. It makes it easier for the volunteers to keep track of the kids. Um, as you know, some elementary schools can be a thousand kids. So to be able to organize this as best as possible, um, each grade will get a different color shirt so that it's easy, easily recognizable between the kids. Um, the schools will usually have um, like I said, the grades can have different designs or um, the school will choose one basic design and then the kids will have different color shirts depending on what grade they're in. Um, so you might have a team yellow, team green, team blue. Uh, they might all have the same color or different color shirts, same design. Um, what's nice for the decorator is with transfers especially, you're able to order a large quantity of the same design and transfers, and that same design can be applied to all of these different color shirts. Um, if you do need to, the different color shirts, um, you know, some of them are going to be light color shirts where like in this picture, um, you know, all of the light color shirts have black ink. 
um, and a black design on them. You can also do, if they do get darker color shirts, you need white ink um, or a light color ink on their shirts. Transfer Express has what we, what we call a color change where you'll get the large quantity break, price break. So each transfer will be less expensive, but you're able to split up that design and that order between say, you know, 100 shirts in black and 100 shirts in white. You're still taking advantage of the larger price break, um, but you are able to decorate light and dark shirts at the same time. So one of the large advantages of using transfers is using a color change. So field day, number one on our um, eight lists. So within our artwork collection, um, we have thousands of layouts and what we call easy prints layouts that can be customized with your school name, your school mascot, your school colors, um, and you're able to customize those in our online designer easy view. So for field day, we have a dedicated section of field day designs that you can see here. There's plenty more online. Um, and then you can also grab from the different different sections too and create them into field day shirts just by changing the text and the clip arts. So um, here are some of our field day designs. Um, the next idea that we have is for graduation. So graduates um, all around the country uh, from all levels, from college to high school, middle school, elementary, even kindergarten and preschools. Um, graduation shirts are really popular. And usually the parent groups, the PTA and the um, parent-teacher organizations um, are going to be your main contact for graduation shirts. And what happens is they, um, it, they're purchasing shirts basically as a gift to the graduates saying, congratulations, you made it, you're out, you know, you're finally out of school or out of, um, you know, middle school or high school or uh, finally graduated from preschool. So um, graduation shirts are really popular. We have our graduation layouts, like I explained with the Easy Prints layouts for field day. Graduation layouts are very similar where we have our class of um, this year, 2017. They can be customized for any of the school years though. Um, so if you do have you know, newly coming in freshmen that want their class of shirts um, or the graduate shirts, we have an entire section for class of and graduation that you can choose from. Here's a few of the designs that we have just come out with for the class of. This was a couple of weeks ago. Um, we have a clip art program that every week, every Tuesday, new layouts and new clip arts are being released based on your suggestions. Um, whether it be suggesting it over the phone with our customer service reps, or uh, we take suggestions on Facebook or through email. Um, we basically will make layouts and clip arts based on something that you need. So uh, a couple of weeks ago, we had the suggestion that we need some more class of layouts and class of clip arts. So a couple of weeks ago, this was our you know, brand new collection of clip arts that were available. Uh, if you are interested, you can, um, you know, give us suggestions on Facebook. If you want to stay updated on which new clip arts and layouts that we come out with every week, you can subscribe to our blog at transferexpress.com. Um, I suggest you subscribing to the blog or you can join our Facebook page that you can get updates so you can see all of the new layouts and clip arts that are available every week. Um, and then all of these layouts, again, are customizable in the Easy View program that you can change the text and clip arts um, and colors and size and create your screen printed transfers from those.
prom and after prom are coming up soon. And um, prom and after prom are usually given a theme for the year. Um, the prom sometimes is separate from the after prom. So there's two uh, opportunities there for creating shirts. Um, the proms usually have a theme that they go with, um, and I'll show you some of the top themes of this year. So some of the top themes for 2017, um, 1920s ballroom, and of course the generations, 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s. Um, we're getting into Arabian themes and candy themes and so forth. So you're able to coordinate your t-shirt designs with the theme for the prom or after prom. So prom is really popular for t-shirts. After prom, if you wanted to do something different for, um, for the school, tote bags would be really cool for uh, the kids to be able to put their personal belongings in when they head into after prom. Um, whether it be their change of clothes for um, the after prom, if they're changing out of their formal wear, um, you know, girls can put their shoes and their makeup in there and their, you know, extra change of clothes. But tote, bag, tote bags would be a really good idea for an after prom um, giveaway. To take the personalization and the customization a little bit further and make something even more personalized for students um, is our signature shirts. And you may have seen these around. And when I was in elementary school, um, you know, we didn't have, we had signature shirts, but they were done a little bit differently where, uh, you know, you would walk around and kids would physically sign your shirt. Um, so you had to walk around to each student and each student would sign your shirt. So then it gave you a, um, a souvenir for the end of the school year to take home with you. Um, now, I, after many washes, signatures would start to fade and then you start to lose that personalized touch to the shirts. So with our signature shirts, they're screen printed, but it still allows the students to go in and personally sign the shirts. So what happens, and I'll, um, I'll kind of give you the rundown of how these are ordered and how these are made. So again, you start with our signature templates and um, our easy prints designs. And we have a dedicated section to the signature layouts and they all involve a large open area um, for an area for the kids to sign. And then the customization, the school name, whether it's going to be for the seniors or whether it's for their class of or even a sports team. Um, so there's designs for pretty much every area of, um, you know, of student life basically. So what happens is to order these transfers, you'd go on to our Easy View program and choose one of these layouts and be able to customize them. So once you customize them, you would order it, instead of ordering the transfers, you would order a template. Now the template then is created by our designers and it's mailed to you. So then you would have a physical template that you're able to give to the school and give to the class and with a felt tip, medium felt tip type of pen, like a Sharpie, the kids would go around and sign the template. So once all of the kids sign the template, um, they would give it back to you, the heat printer, and send us the signatures, uh, send us the paper with the signatures. Um, and then our artists will be able to create the graphics file um, to be able to screen print that transfer. So all of the signatures will be the same on everybody's shirts. Um, they'll be durable. They'll last uh, pretty much a lifetime um, on their shirts. They won't fade. Um, so it's a perfect souvenir for the end of the school year. Um, you know, it kind of goes along with signing your yearbook, um, you know, that sort of thing. But you're actually getting a physical t-shirt to wear, which is pretty cool.
Another event that usually goes on at the end of the school year is class trips. So I remember when I was in school, each, each year we would go on a trip. Um, sixth grade, we went to camp. Seventh grade, we went on a tour. Um, we live in Ohio, so we would go around on an Ohio tour and go around the state visiting different historical sites. Um, and then in eighth grade, we would go to um, Washington, D.C., um, you know, for trips. So pretty much every school does the same sort of thing where they take class trips. Um, we would get a, a souvenir t-shirt or hoodie, as you see in this picture. Everybody got the same matching color shirt. So it kind of kept the group together. It made us a more unified group. Um, and then it, you know, it made a perfect souvenir for the trip too. So you'd want to find out what the grades are that are taking the trips. You can contact the PTA, you can contact teachers um, or parents to see what trips the classes are going on and when, um, you know, and present this idea of providing them with a souvenir class t-shirt or hoodie uh, to take on the trip with them. And we have designs for, like this is the Washington DC, um, like I said that I went on in eighth grade, the, so we went to different cities. Um, so we have different city designs. We recently just updated all of our um, skylines for the different cities that you're able to interchange these into the layouts and create some pretty cool designs out of. And here's some more ideas. Um, you know, it doesn't actually have to be a class trip where you're going out of out of town. Um, you know, just going to the zoo, going to a park. Um, you know, sometimes they go to camp. Sometimes they're going to a historical site, um, or even doing a senior trip to an amusement park or something like that. Um, having a T-shirt, having a souvenir for that is always popular. And to go along with those signature shirts that we were talking about, um, number six on our list here is our class lists. Um, these are another personalized way of adding all of the kids' names on um, that are in the class, in the graduating class, um, or in the honor roll, or, um, you know, they the class will give you a list of names of all of the kids that are in that group. For instance, this girl is wearing her honor student shirt. So you're given a list of all of the students in the in the class um, and all of those names can be screen printed and put on a shirt for a per more personalized touch than just having your school name on the shirt. Um, so what's nice about this is that um, it takes out the production work. Um, for instance, if you were to cut out this design and weed all of those names, um, you're able to get some very detailed names and letters on the shirt. It's a perfect way to add some personalization to it. Um, so I'll show you a little bit of how to do that. In our Easy View Designer, so we call these typesetting lists. So basically the names are typeset into the you know, into the program. So it's going to be a digital list of names. Um, you can do it in an Excel file. You can also, the better way to do it is in your, if you have Microsoft, a Microsoft computer, um, you'll want to use the notepad. Um, but in the end, you want to create a TXT file. So instead of a Word file or an Excel file, you're wanting to create a text file so that the programs can read the names properly. Um, so in your notepad, what you would do is take the list of names in a single column um, and save those to your computer. And then in the Easy View Online Designer, you're able to add your text and add your typesetting columns to that to create your design. Now we have um, already created layouts to where you're able to input your typesetting list um, or you can create your own design using any of our um, clip arts and uh, text files here. So um, this is just a, a demonstration of 
the typesetting columns where you would add your text in the Easy View Online Designer, and then your typesetting list. You can choose how many columns that you need. Um, you can choose whether you want them less, left justified, center, or right justified, but you are able to import that class list and create a class list shirt like this girl is wearing. Number seven on our list is the spring sports banquet. Um, so going away from the actual classes, but moving into the sports um, you know, area, the spring sports banquet is usually held by each type of sport. It's done at the end of the season where they're given their awards, um, whether they won the championship or whether um, you know, they wanna pass out awards for you know, the records that have been placed that year. Um, they wanna honor the captains and those who did well um, with teamwork and that sort of thing. So the spring sports banquet is really big and the coaches um, or the parents will usually want to provide the kids with a souvenir and um, you know a gift for them for their hard work and uh, for their dedication throughout the year. So with the spring sports banquet, so what you can do is basically all of the kids can receive the same shirt with the same design, like one of these state champ designs. And then you can use our express names to personalize each shirt with their, either the record that they made um, or the role that they played on the team, whether they're the captain, um, you know, or, you know, for track, what, who had the longest jump and they, you know, you can personalize each t-shirt from that with our express names. And every year the school will hold a awards assembly, um, you know, honoring those kids that um, had done some special things throughout the year, um, such as being on the honor roll, honor society, um, kids that have done well with, um, you know, in their mathematics classes, um, but they're given these awards and it's usually a certificate that you're given. Um, and even sometimes it is a certificate and a t-shirt or something that they can take away as a souvenir. So creating a t-shirt for the awards assembly is a great idea. And then similar to the sports banquet is to personalize the shirts with um, their merit. So creating a honor society shirt or using the express names to use as a personalization on the back of the shirt um, for showing what they were honored in um, is also a great idea. So those were the eight ideas that we had for you that we keep seeing through our screen print production lines and being designed on the Easy View Online Designer. Um, so we hope you got some great inspiration from that. Um, if you do wanna see a copy of today's webinar, um, it will be available at least by Monday for you on transferexpress.com. If you have any questions, um, feel free to email us. Our email is there. Uh, like I said, you can subscribe to our blog and get notified on all of our upcoming events and our new clip art and layouts that we put out every Tuesday. Um, we also have all of our videos and previous webinars online, our event trade shows, um, and the dates and locations for those. And of course, please follow us on social media um, and stay updated and get tips and tricks for screen printed and uh, screen printed transfers and then our contact information there. And our next webinar, we'd love for you all to join us, is the top 10 t-shirt sales for summer. Uh, we're going to talk about some different ideas for, um, for some summer events, some summer activities that are going on. Um, that's going to be Thursday, May 11th, same time, 2 p.m., you can register for that on our website um, under the help and education area. Um, and if you have any ideas of what you would like to see covered in a future webinar, you can 
email them to us at info at transferexpress.com. And we'd love to hear your suggestions and know what type of topics that you guys are interested in learning. So I want to thank everybody for joining us today. I hope you guys learned a lot and got some inspiration for what end of the school year events and uh, t-shirt sales that you're able to do.